Hey guys, it's a very simple beer today. Here we go, we're just uh, training that out. It's just a base malt with some Prada Ringwood. It's gonna be a very simple, um, easy drinking ale, a bit of a lawnmower smash, basically. Base malt and Prada Ringwood, nothing else. We've got some uh, flat homebrew here to keep things going, moving along. Got the brew spoon too here. Have I shown you the brew spoon? See if you can read that. It says the brew spoon. It is awesome. Do it for all my testing, all my tasting of the mash, all that sort of stuff. Um, I've been dropping a lot of temperature lately. Uh, mashed this in at 64 degrees, dropped to 61 degrees by the end of the 90 minutes, and that's just unacceptable. I don't even know if there's any conversion going on at that time. I don't know if there's anything, actually, any enzyme activity that's actually negative at, the, at those low um, markers. I know if you go too high, you can release tannins and all that sort of kind of flavors that we don't want. I don't know what happens if you're too low for too long. So in the warmer months in summer, I was miss losing maybe one degree, which is perfectly acceptable. Wrapped in blankets, sleeping bag, all that sort of stuff. But now I'm dropping three degrees. It's completely unacceptable. So for next brew, I'm gonna have to really work something out. Just about to do a refractometer test. So we will, shall see whether it has any negative effect on the extraction. All right, so I'm just punching the numbers in. Uh, we got just bang on nine plato which is about 1035 apparently it was going for 1037 so it's actually pretty good for pre-boil gravity gives us a measured efficient efficient to that efficiency of let me figure out where i put this because i originally did it and it was 1033 and then i let the bag drain the rest of the way gave it a light little squeeze i usually don't squeeze but i thought oh, i need to get a little bit more out of it so i just gave it a little dunk before i got rid of it no sparging nothing like that um, measured it again and I was a, just a couple of little points higher so that's always good so let's go 135 and so was, estimated mash efficiency was 81.4% uh, measured mash efficiency was 76.9 so I'm a little down on what I was going for that's just the Beersmith defaults which um, 81.4 efficiency is what you know they reckon and the total efficiency which I think is the brew house efficiency I'm still using learning beer smith my first time I've used it um, so the brew house efficiency should be 72 percent now in the past that hasn't been a problem based on what I've done um, calculated previously but losing this many degrees I reckon is really hurting what's happening so we're going to work on that happy for your suggestions below that'd be great um, and yeah let's just Keep going. So can you see all of that crap in the water? fogging up there all of that little crappy bits I used to think my bag wasn't very fine before so it was just sort of coming through but I've got a feeling it's just a biab thing um, a lot of people say you know it does make cloudier work a lot of people say that's bullshit I don't know what to think. I've just got a brand new bag, which you saw in one of the previous episodes. That may just be the hot break getting out, but I bet you it'll be there at the end of the boil. Um, anyway, just something to look at. Um, I am thinking of moving to 3V just for the fun of it, just to give it a go. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether that's the same or different or whatever. Anyway, little tidbit. I love the smell of Prada Ringwood, don't care what anybody says. Fantastic. Well, it's been boiling for 10 minutes. All hot break gone. Let's do this. Oh. 
I gotta get all these out. Give me a minute. Don't know if you really need to stir that in, but it's fun to do. Um, hopefully, I don't get sued for this, but um, today's tunes come from uh, Martin Martini. You see that? Absolutely fantastic album. Um, saw these guys live. I heard that he quit. Um, quit in his prime. So, I don't know. Anyway, if you see him, I think he might have come back. So, if you see him around, he's bloody awesome live. Great Aussie, just crazy mental circus music. Love it. So, there we go. 70 metre boil over. The proteins are doing their thing. That they tend to do. Ended up with... What do we end up with? It's looking at about... I don't have individual notches. I'd say that's about 28-ish. Pretty sure I was looking for 27, but um, it's a bit hard to tell. I think with the hot water, it makes it expand and reads a bit higher than what it actually would be. Um, the other question is, will it fit in there? I'm looking to get 23 litres at least. So sort of up to my water volumes since using Beersmith, because... Um, the old way I was calculating it, I was going for 23, but only got 20. Um, so I'm trying to get 23 litre batches, so when I start kegging, I can still get a few bottles in. So anyway, we'll see how it turns out. Broken out! 